Hi, Nick Wood here, and in this short video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to use green screen in iMovie. So, first things first, we need to get our uh, we need to get our iMovie up and running. So, here we are in iMovie, and first of all, obviously, we need to get a bit of a clip of uh, me in uh, in front of a green screen, and then we can talk about some backgrounds too. So, quickly, let's grab a clip I did last week. Yeah, so here's one that I made last week. So as you can see in the picture, it's just me in front of a green screen, which is just basically a green cloth. And if you look closely, it doesn't even have to be ironed. You know, it's not the it's not the most taut cloth. And I'll show you how we correct that when we've got it into the old uh, iMovie. So select that one. And I'll also select a background. There's a couple of options on backgrounds, but I'll, I'll select one for you. Yeah, I thought I'd select this little library scene. So, and I just got this, just got this image from Unsplash. It's a free resource, um, royalty free uh, pictures, but they'd like a little bit of accreditation. You don't have to, but uh, I'd like to give them a little shout out. So this lady was Priscilla, um, somebody. I'll put the link underneath the video. So now we have our two parts. So first of all, in order to have a green screen, we actually need to have the backdrop. So you have backgrounds up here. We click on those. So these are the, the preloaded backgrounds from uh, iMovie. They're all there. So you've got underwater. If I go across them, then you'll see, there you go. So you'll see blob in the screen to your right. Underwater, gradient. So they're already there, but actually for this one, I'm going to start with uh, I'm going to start with my picture of the library because in this film I'm being interviewed. As you can see, the, this clip is only four seconds long, so it needs to be bigger, and also we don't want it going in and out. So, clip on the crop button, and it's defaulted to a Ken Burns effect, which brings pictures in or out depending which way you want to to do it. Um, but I'm going to change that to uh, fit for a minute. So that will keep it steady all the way through. Uh, and also because it's only four seconds and my video is four minutes, if I just use this reduce the settings down a touch, and then I can just drag. And you see it tells me how many minutes that clip will be the background for. So I want it to be about 48, I think, roughly. So there we have that in our timeline, in our playhead. And then we want to drop our green screen video above it. Literally, just drag and drop. That's what I love about iMovie, it's just drag and drop. Okay, so now we have that our green screen. <clears throat> so, and it doesn't, just say so you no, know, so, so you, this is the, the button you want to, to press video overlay settings and in that you've got cutaway or green blue screen split screen there you go uh, that sort of thing picture in a picture um, so so yeah but we want green blue screen and actually it can be pretty much any color it's a it's a it's a chromatic so what do we mean by that we use green and uh, blue a lot of the time because it's particularly green because people tend not to have green clothing or or, or green so when we remove that bright green. We're not going to be removing any other colours on your clothing or whatever. So that's what we're going to remove and then it will be a, a clear screen behind us. So just click on that button and as you can see there's our little picture of the library behind me but it's a bit blurred there isn't it? So but as I said we can clean it up by clicking on the rubber and literally just click where it's blurred and suddenly boom no problem you got that blurring out of the way um, you can play around with the softness um, but actually I, I tend to keep it as is um, but also obviously we haven't uh, I wasn't I didn't have the whole green screen in the shop so I need to do a bit of cropping so we have the little crop tool up here cropping and I'm gonna crop to fill so I'm just gonna drag that in I'm gonna crop it so that everything is within the black of the there you go within the black of the of the green screen bring it down a touch hit enter and there you go there i am in my green screen oh there you go i'm busy talking so uh, uh do, 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 do. Let's just knock the audio off. So, 
and here I am in my library quite happy there you go and that's how we use a green screen but as I say we could uh, we could change the background so now we've got that we can leap into backgrounds let's use this uh, I'm not sure how effective that what the blob will be doing behind me let's use underwater um, so let's go back there. underwater and again just drag and drop that into the timeline and it asks you replace it, replace from the start, replace from the end, or insert it. So I'm going to re replace it from the start, and boom, there you go. The entire thing has just been replaced, and I'm now being interviewed in the watery depths of uh, of somewhere. So you know, it just makes a little bit, makes it a bit different, and uh, and it keeps it interesting. So that is it. That is how we use a green screen. Hope you found that uh, informational, educational. Obviously, if you like this to be amazing if you can subscribe to the channel i'll be doing more uh iMovie training in the coming weeks so if you subscribe you'll get notified and you'll see what we're doing uh, with all sorts of movie editing so please yeah subscribe like please comment below if you want to know more if there's a particular subject that you want to find out about then obviously yep whack something in the comments and i shall reply okay hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one